Hey guys, and happy Friday. Welcome to the start of a new weekend reading vlog. I honestly really miss my reading vlogs and I think just at least for the time being I can't really do uh, weekly ones that I kind of did during the summer but I did fall off the wagon as I do but I've been reading a lot I've just been in a better mood than I think I was at least in my last reading vlog some things have been happening I actually have my SAT tomorrow which is by the time you're watching this it's done but so that was kind of looming over me and like the only thing I have is like college apps but I'm oddly not stressed about my college apps. I have been reading a lot. I've actually finished reading a book this morning. I'll update you on that. But right now I'm just an hour before I have my last tutoring session. So I'm currently reading on my Nook. I'm reading, so I'm reading Resurrection Girls on my Nook. I actually have an arc of this from Nick Kelly, but it did already come out. So I'm currently reading that. I was going to read that for the Spookathon. I've now changed my TBR for that like three times. It is also the Gilmore Girls Readathon, and I'm reading one book for that. I'm currently listening to the audiobook for the Lady Midnight, which is so long. I'm about like 10, 15% into that. And then I want to start a physical book, but I'm just reading so many books at once. But I feel like maybe after I'm done with Resurrection Girls, I just want to get it done closer to like when it comes out rather than like at the end of the month. So this morning I finished Dear Sweet Pea by Julie Murphy. This was one of my most anticipated releases of the year. And I gave this a five out of five stars. I loved it so much. This is a middle grade about a plus size main character who has a cat and her parents are going through a divorce because her father is gay. He moves into a house that is exactly the same and on the same street, one house down. <laughs> so it kind of surrounds her kind of dealing with that, also dealing with like best friendship. She's in seventh grade, a weird eccentric neighbor who writes like the column, the like dear whatever column, and she starts like helping her out and answering her letters. And it causes some shenanigans. And it's just like a really good book. I read this in like two days and I'm literally obsessed with it. This is one of my favorite books of the year. I just made myself a Shirley Temple. I want to give you an update on the book I'm reading. <laughs> I've been reading it and watching some YouTube. I watched the new Jeffree Star and like Shane series. I am on page 146. This is kind of an interesting story. It is about a girl who her little brother was three and he drowned. And so her family has just never been the same. Her mother become kind of a drug addict. Her father's never around. She's really just taking care of herself. And then this family moves into town across the street. And so they move in and they're kind of like clairvoyant. I feel like there's some kind of magical thing, but I don't think it is. I don't know. They're very like no everyone's thing before they tell them. The daughter's really weird. I'm not weird. She's very like outgoing and and so they become friends and she also like writes letters to like guys on death row and like murderers and people in jail and rapists and stuff like that. So she ends up enlisting the other girls help. So they start writing letters. <laughs> to guys on death row and they sign them the resurrection girls and it's really weird it's really dark it's not really doing much like, i feel like that i just feel like it's a very passive like thing that's going on because they're like writing letters but it's i just don't feel like a lot of things are happening i'm not really like invested if that makes any sense so definite trigger warning of course for death of a loved one drug abuse and guess yeah murder and rape they don't that doesn't happen but it's like talked about kind of. I'm gonna read some more of this. Um, I have to wake up early tomorrow to take my SAT and spend like four hours there. That's three, four maybe. I have it from eight to like one. I also listened to like 1% of my Lady Midnight audiobook. I'm like 20% in it now, so. Everything's pretty good, pretty solid. I just don't think I'm gonna give this like above a three unless I like really get invested. I hey guys, happy Saturday. So I got back from my SAT around two. It's around uh, like 2.30 now. I've taken a shower, I've eaten lunch, and I'm about to take a nap because I'm exhausted, but I wanted to let you know that I'm home and that I'm finally done with my SAT. I really don't have anything else to do today. I'm just gonna relax for the first time in literally forever since I've been planning to take this SAT, which is like months. So I feel like I can finally calm down. I think it went really well. I'm really happy about it. Um, all the studying hopefully paid off. Hey guys, I just got back from dinner. I drove my parents to dinner. We went to TJ Friday's and then we went to Barnes & Noble and I picked up a book because <laughs> obviously I got Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I don't know. I wanted a book that's different from what I'm reading right now and one that I would really like to pick up soon. october -y, spooky. Like it's not on my TBR but like yeah this really interests me. It's set in dual timelines. It's about like a girl goes to a private school to study these murders that happened at the private school and then it's following those murders happening. I've heard really good things about this and I just 
I wanted something to break up my reading, so. So, the new season of Big Mouth came out, so that's kind of what I'm going to spend the rest of my night doing, but I'm going to finish Resurrection Girl, Resurrection, Resurrection, I said that really fucking stupid. I'm gonna try to finish Resurrection Girls. I'm on page 156, so I about 100 pages left. Hey guys, so it is 10.30. I didn't really realize how late it was. <laughs> I just ended up finishing Resurrection Girls, and I ended up giving it two stars. It was really confusing, and I feel like it was like having all these ties and was trying to do all these things, but it wasn't really doing any of them really effectively. Don't know what was going on. Like, towards the end, too, it felt like everything was just like all this shit was happening, and I was like, like this came out of fucking nowhere like I don't even saw I started um Sorcery of Thorns this morning not that far into it though about on page like five I don't know eight so yes I'm liking it so far I mean there's really nothing going on look at me I'm wearing makeup we're going to Philly today we're going to Ikea then we're going to go visit my brother my brother lives in Philly I'm going to listen to my audiobook Lady Midnight I listened to some of this before I went to bed too I'm about 25% in, so maybe like there. So I'm gonna listen to this in the car. Where I found that like one hour of the actual time of the audiobook is about 5%. I'm gonna be in the car for an hour. That's about two hours audiobook time because I listen on double speed. Hopefully we get about 10% in if we're doing math correctly. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm really liking this. I just love this world. Like I can never get enough of these Shadowhunter books. I don't think I ever will, so. I love this. Hey guys, so I really don't remember the last time I vlogged. So I know you're in the exact same position you were like literally what was like three, four hours, five hours ago. It is almost six o'clock. We're not having dinner tonight just because we ate so much food when we were in Philly. But I wanted to update you that I got to 50% through Lady Midnight. I'm pretty good. Really, really love it. So I'm gonna listen to some more of this and kind of plan out my week. I like to do this on Sundays in my bullet journal. Um, I never really show my bullet journal, but I really want to do like an end of year like stats. I started making a spreadsheet like a few weeks ago of like books I read and then like their genre whether they were rereads um star ratings I'm really excited about that I know I'm looking forward to the end of the year and it's literally October it's freezing so I might take a bath and do some reading you and me Alright guys, so it is now Monday and I wanted to wrap up this vlog. I wanted to just like let you know my progress at the end of the weekend. Um, I'm pretty happy with everything that happened. So first off, I of course finished Dear Sweet Bee by Sweet Bee. <laughs> and I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. Then I finished Resurrection Girls by Eva Morgan. And I gave this 2 out of 5 stars. Then I made some great boop. <laughs> I made some great progress into Lady Midnight. I'm about at 400, so I'm about like 60-ish percent through. And then I did actually end up reading some of Sorcerer Thorns while I was watching football with my dad last night. So Sorcerer Thorns, I made a little bit of progress. I am now on page 50. So we go to house. Hello, squirrel. Terrible angle, but I wanted to show you the books I'm reading. It is Friday, so obviously the start of a new weekend reading vlog. I'm currently reading a few books. Some of them I need to finish. A lot of them I should finish all of them. So I have to finish the Penelope ad. The, um, uh, the, I have to finish the Penelope ad for school for my contemporary lit class. It's kind of a lit book. It's kind of going cool. I'm on page 74. It's only like it's less than 200 pages, so I'm pretty okay with that. Yesterday I started a new book. I'm trying to work through my Gilmore Girls with on TBR, and I've read like two of those books, so... Doing good. Anyways, so I started Highly Illogical Behavior, and I'm on a whopping page 14. I was really excited about this book because it features agoraphobia as, like, a central thing that the main character deals with. But there was one line in this that I just want to mention, that this girl is going to fix him. And it's just, like, you can't fix mental illness. It's not, like, a car. It's not a pop tire. It's, like, not that i'm about to make cookies but i wanted to quickly say that yesterday i read um the little new chapter for the 20th anniversary edition of perks of being a wallflower by steven shabatsky because that is one of my all-time favorite books of all time <laughs> and he came out with a new chapter for the special edition and i read that on my computer i wanted to record my reaction but it wasn't the start of the vlog so i will put that in now
I'm feeling really icky about this book. There's a second perspective and her name is Lisa. She went to school with Solomon, who's the main character. So he's agoraphobic and she's fascinated by it, I guess. And basically she wants to write her college essay on him and how she fixes him. So basically she wants to be like a psychologist, right? But if you want to be a psychologist, you should really know that you don't say fix and that you, oh, it just seems really grody and it's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> You know I took a nap. You know I did, okay? I just made a white chocolate mocha because I don't know why, but I'm in a very Christmassy mood, which is very unlike me. I'm more of a Halloween type gal, but like once it's Christmas, I'm Christmas, you know? But I was like, oh my God, you know all those Starbucks drinks they make? And I was I wanna make one of those. So I made a white chocolate mocha. I don't know if it's exactly it. It's like dairy free too. It tastes like really good. <laughs> Okay, so I think I want to go back to the drawing board just because this book is making me really frustrated. I looked it up and it does have accurate representation. It's just the other character is so unbelievably insufferable. So that means I have one, two, three, four, five, six-ish, kind of five books to read. I'm going to run through the books like really fast. So I started... Sorcery of Thorns. I was gonna call this Lesson of Thorns. That's a completely different book. I started this last weekend and I'm on page 50. Haven't made any progress with it. City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. And then The Wise and the Wicked by Rebecca Polos. What should I do? Like a randomizer? So these are my five options. I'm gonna count this as one, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna do a random number generator on my phone. So, so it said four, so I'm going to be reading Serious Moonlight. I am very excited to read this. I'm just, it's kind of long. Yeah, it's 400 pages. It's not 500 pages, but like still. I'm gonna start it now. I'm very excited. I think this might get me out of. I'm not having a slump. I'm just like kind of bored with my reading. I don't know if that makes any sense. On the first page yet, and I already love this book. I fucking love Jen Bennett. There we go. This book is pretty good so far. My voice just went completely out. So basically, the main character, Birdie, um, has an encounter with the boy, and then she like completely flees the scene, and then some month later, and she's ending up working with him. But she also loves like mysteries and reading stuff, mysteries and stuff. And she's like, "What if Daniel had been a bad person? Ted Bundy was charming after all. <laughs> what if I ended up a dead in a ditch, stuffed in someone's refrigerator?" Me. I'm also watching BuzzFeed Unsolved while I'm reading this. In every vlog, I say I'm getting sushi for dinner. But yo, that's my favorite shit. It's six o'clock. I feel like my parents are having dinner without me. That'd be really awkward. It'd be like a whole pretty in pink situation. Anyways, this book is great. I'm on page 70, so. I'm living my best life. It's got like a mystery element here, which I knew going into it, but I love a good mystery. Hey guys, I wanted to update you before I go to Ash's house for a sleepover. I just um, got to page 122 <laughs> in Serious Moonlight, so about that far through. I was honestly just like watching some Shane Dawson and some stuff while reading, but um, I'm really liking it so far. So I'm really excited to spend some more time with that tomorrow. Hey guys, long time no vlog. Am I right? Who's surprised, let's be honest. This clip may or may not get cut short because Ashley's supposed to come over, but she's also like. So I haven't talked to you at all today. I stayed over at Ashley's house and then we got like food and Starbucks and like we went to the mall and I took a nap because I had a really bad headache and I was kind of feeling achy. I don't really know why. Pumped out an essay draft for my college essay. I have written my college essay before. I've written it actually three other times. <laughs> times and you'd be like oh my god that means it's like really good but they're all like different essays today's been a weird day i don't fucking know <laughs> so i just pumped that out literally in like less than a half hour so i want to read a little bit more of my book uh, i also have to read the penelope ad tomorrow and then also a little bit of hamlet i should read hamlet now but i have to take notes on it so i'm like it off how cute is that really i'm liking this i'm just like <laughs> i've been really busy today i was supposed to find jeans and i couldn't find any flipping Mon jeans at American Eagle. Always leaving just in time. Hey guys, welcome to my TED Talk. It's Sunday. I've had a long weekend. Not in the sense that I've had extra days off. I've just had like a lot of time I've spent with my friends, which is very weird for me. I'm not that social typically. I've been doing homework. I'm reading some of Hamlet right now. My teacher wants me to take notes like every two, like every line almost. And I'm like, <laughs> but I do need to finish the Penelope ad today. I don't know why I'm in this kind of reading slump. I actually do know. I think I know why. And that's cause I've read 99 books this year so far. I don't know why, but I guess there's like a pressure on like a weird like mental 
mental block I guess I'm having is that I really want my hundredth book that I read or finish or whatever. Last year I read 106 books, but I don't think I hit 100 until later in the year, so I'm pretty early, pretty ahead of my Goodreads school. I could literally not read anymore until. So I do need to finish this. I have about 100 pages left. I'm gonna knock this out. I really wanna put on a Halloween movie as I do that, and then I wanna dive back into Serious Midnight because once this is done, basically my homework for tomorrow is all done. Just in time.